So right now, we don't have any offline handling going on. If I go and actually turn the Wi-Fi off on my computer, which is how you're going to have to test offline capability on your application, and I go and refresh the app, we're just going to sit on this loading screen forever and ever because we do nothing about handling offline uh, issues or if something happens while a user is offline. So the first level of offline capability is just simply notifying the user, hey, you're offline, you're not going to be able to get data, and maybe you can give them the capability to go ahead and try to fetch that data again. So with our internet off, I'll go into our list screen, which is this screen we're looking at here. And you can see on component mount, we go ahead, get the data. Getting data makes a fetch request to slash list. And on success, we render that. Otherwise, we catch the error. And right now, this const.log would just be visible to us in development. We could go ahead and add an alert here and say, sorry, something went wrong. And you can see sorry something went wrong, showed up. It's not much, but at least it's something. To take it one level further, we can actually give them the option to try again. So to do that, we could go ahead and import alert from React Native. We could go ahead and replace our alert here with an alert.alert. .alert. That's going to take a message, or rather a title, so we can say sorry something went wrong, please try again. We can also display a description. Here we can go ahead and actually show the message that the error is throwing. And then finally we can go ahead and pass along some actions a user could take. So let's go ahead and pass an action to try again. And on press, what do we want to do? Well, we're going to go ahead and fetch the data. Fortunately, we could go ahead and just call this.getData again. So now when we make this request, we see, sorry, something went wrong. Please try again. Network request failed. I'll try again. We're going to see same things going to continue happening. If I go ahead and turn my Wi-Fi back on, and my Wi-Fi is back on, I press try again, you can see we now get that location information. So let's go ahead and do the same thing quickly for the details and our create item screens. We can go into details. If we scroll down here, you can see we've got our fetch down here. We're actually making a put request to log find. We could go ahead and add a dot catch in here. First off, I guess we should import our alert. Go ahead and copy that. And we can say alert.alert. .alert. Sorry, something went wrong, and then we can go ahead and show that error.message. Again, in this case, we're not going to give them the action, so or an action to try again, so we'll just leave it at that. We can go ahead and do the exact same thing for our create item screen. Looking inside of our catch, so when we press save on creating a new item, we'll just go ahead and add in our alert.alert, .alert, sorry, something went wrong, and then show them the error message. We'll make sure to import alert. And now I'll go offline once again. And if we go into our details screen, try to log this. You can see we end up getting that sorry, something went wrong, network request failed. Likewise, if we go back to our items, try to create a new item. I guess we'll have to add all of our data first. Press save, and you'll see sorry, something went wrong, network request failed. It's very basic, but it's something that we can do to add a little bit of offline capability to our applications.